assalamu alaikum uh, students today we shall talk about fire vapor oxidation uh, this is very interesting oxidation reaction that it involves carbonyl compounds we know that carbonyl compounds are ketones or they are aldehydes so all those compounds that contain the carbonyl functionality can undergo this bayer villager oxidation so this is actually the oxidation of ketones preferentially and aldehydes now what <coughs> what is the specific this reaction is about <coughs> i'm drawing here a structure of ketone this me stands for methyl or sometimes we call it methyl so when this ketone reacts with per acids and the most commonly per acids that we commonly use in our lab is meta chloro per acid why because this per acid is commercially available then what happens then this ketone changes into an ester functionality into an ester functionality you see it this is carboxylate and this is r group alkyl ester so this reaction involves the conversion of a ketone into an ester using per acids previously we have used this reaction for the conversion of alkenes into epoxides but when this metachloroperbenzoic acid reacts with the ketone it converts ketones into an ester <coughs> let's first discuss its mechanism mechanism that how this conversion is possible what is the driving force that moves this reaction from ketone to an ester CH3. Now I will write CH3 for better understanding. What is this? Per acids. metachloro per benzoic acid <coughs> reacts is going to react with this ketone since this is an acid first it protonates this <coughs> oxygen so you you can also right that this one pair attacks on this hydrogen and this bonds moves over this oxygen and previously i have already explained you that the the single bond between two highly electronegative atoms is a weak bond this bond is a weak bond
sweet corn. <clears throat> and when this bond moves here, the charge density moves over oxygen, it can resonate on this carbonyl group. It can uh, delocalize here. So it, it becomes the better living group. So this oxygen becomes electron deficient. So what happens when this uh, oxygen it gets protonated you get this enol protonated this one CH3 and here What happens in the next step? The first step involves the protonations of the keto oxygen, making this carbon, the carbonyl carbon, highly electron deficient, and it sees this oxide ion. So this oxide ion reacts on this, and this bond moves over. Oxygen. What, uh, what I why I'm writing this structure because when <coughs> oxide attacks on this highly electron deficient carbon then it makes a new bond with this carbon and this bond moves over the OH neutralizing this oxygen so it is now changed into hydroxyl group and this oxygen has now made a new bond with this electron deficient carbon the next step is the very important the first one was the just the protonation of the keto oxygen next is actually the very important step the main step of this reaction is the migration of the alkyl group let's see what is happening here when this lone pair comes here making a new bond here then this group it start attacking on this oxygen and this bonds move over here i should better to to mark these arrows with the red when these this long pair comes back simultaneously this is very important word the simultaneously when this uh, lone pair moves here and so this group migrates here making a new bond with this oxygen and this bond start breaking and this bond moves over here and this bond moves over the oxygen so this is another concerted mechanism what are the concerted mechanism those mechanism in which we don't get any intermediate the bond making and breaking all bond making and breaking steps they are occurring at the same time 
simultaneously. So you will have to write the transition state that will actually elaborate what is going on. So I am going to write here the transition state. So oxygen is going to make another bond. I am going to show that bond in a dotted in dotted line. <clears throat> this bond, this is actually the migration. Migration of the alkyl group. This is a methyl. New bond here, and this bond is going to rupture between these two oxygen atoms. And here we are going to have another bond. So this carbon oxygen is going to have a double bond. This double bond is going to change into a single bond because the charge density is going to reside over this oxygen the rest is the same so this is a transition state in transition state this bond is going to migrate over here <coughs> Ask a question that when this lone pair comes over here, then I'm going, I'm migrating this bigger alkyl group on this oxygen. You might have asked this question that when this lone pair comes here, so this methyl could also migrate to this oxygen. So you're right. We uh, we sh we have to draw the two structures this is when the bigger benzyl group <coughs> migrates to this oxygen and when this bond comes here this long pair comes over here making a new bond double bond and when this methyl migrates to this oxygen then we will get this compound After deprotonation, the final products are two, two products. The first one is this. When methyl group migrates to the oxygen. And the second one is this. The second one, this when the uh, this group, phenyl group, aryl group actually migrates to the oxygen, so you get this ester. No, it means that this is another example of a regioselective reactions in which we are going to have the two constitutional isomer, and one have the major amount and other one has the minor amount. So when we carry out this reaction, we come to know that this is the major product where the bigger aryl group migrates and this is the minor product. Minor product. It means that <coughs> certain groups they have larger migrating aptitude.
migrating aptitude and what is the migrating aptitude you'll have to remember this the highest migrating aptitude is the migration of the hydride then is the <clears throat> tertiary alkyl group then the benzyl group then secondary alkyl group then we have phenyl then primary alkyl group then we have this methyl <clears throat> why is this so greater the nucleophilicity or the greater the charge density the negative charge density on any atom the greater will be the migrating aptitude in last example i should <clears throat> uh, i should move the slides over here here you can see that when oxygen attacks over here on this protonated ketones this bond moves over here you get you get this intermediate where oxygen has made a new bond when this bond pair moves over back then one group will have to migrate to this oxygen whether this group is more nucleophilic or this methyl group is more nucleophilic this is more nucleophilic why this phenyl can donate the electron density over here like this because it has many pi electron so pi electron can be donated to this carbon similarly here the methyl also has the positive inductive effect so this carbon is more nucleophilic and this as compared to this methyl group so this is a reason that this group is more favorable for the migration to this electron deficient oxygen atom and this bond moves this is a bigger living group the better living group so when this migrates to this oxygen making a new bond with this oxygen you get this transfer this transition state because all these steps are occurring at the same time you get two intermediates leading to these two products and that product is the major major one where the better carbene ion migrates to the oxygen let's discuss another problem <clears throat> here we have the methyl group and here we have so this is a ketone tertiary butyl group tertiary butyl methyl ketone and we are going to react with meta chloro perbenzoic acid now what will be the product we know that the first step will be the protonation of this ketone in the next step this will attack on highly electron deficient 
carbon this bond will move over oxygen to stabilize the charge you will get this intermediate This step is the deciding step. Then, when this bond, this lone pair moves here, making a new bond with the carbon, then one of the group between either the tertiary butyl group or the methyl group will have to migrate on this oxygen. And this bond, because it's a weaker bond, it will move here. It is the leaving group. Now, which group will migrate to this? This is a tertiary butyl group and this is a methyl group we know that here there are three methyl group and all they have the positive i effect making this carbon more nucleophilic better nucleophile and this is electron deficient so what is going to happen this bond will migrate on this oxygen making a new bond with the leaving group so what will be the our product i'm going to write the only one major product no need to write the other one after deprotonation the final one is this ketone so it all depends upon the better migrating aptitude that which group will migrate first another very important thing to remember in this reaction that this is a concerted mechanism it involves the retention of configuration why this retention is occurring we are discussing the mechanism so far I draw that transition state again You know when this transition state we got when uh, this methyl and aryl ketone reacted with metachloroperbenzylcysate in our first example we got this so this in, in the next the second step what happened that was the lone pair when it comes back so one of the group will have to migrate to this electron deficient oxygen so what happens actually this sigma bond we know that sigma bond is made when the sp3 hybridized orbital they overlap so here this overlapping bond is known as the this molecular orbital is known as the highest occupied molecular orbital we called it homo and in this oxygen because it's also sp3 hybridized making a single bond there will be one bond that will be uh, that will be sigma orbital with this oxygen and this is also another homo what happens when a new bond is formed actually when this migrates to this oxygen so it goes there along with its pair of electron this 
HOMO, highest molecular orbital, it has pair of electron in it. And this oxygen, it has empty sigma star orbital as well that we can call it LUMO, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So what happened that this HOMO of this bigger group, it start interaction with the sigma star orbital of this oxygen and that is the lowest in energy so that is the lowest unoccupied molecule unoccupied mean it does not have the pair of electron and this homo is filled with pair of electron so this migrates to the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of the oxygen which is going to be electron deficient so so all these migration occurs in the same phase so this is the reason that the uh, retention of configuration remains intact you see here the methyl is on the front side so after the formation of the product you will see after the migration the methyl is still on the front side the methyl is on the front side this is the so it means that the retention of configurations remains intact due, during this migration this is very important to remember so when you will draw the product you should take care that whether the migrating group has changed its configuration or still the configuration remains the same. I will explain this to you with another example. So this is a ketone metachlorofurbenzoic acid this is a ketone and upon reaction with this what would be the product we know that this reaction is actually the insertion reaction you may call it insertion reaction and what kind of insertion it involves it involves the insertion of oxygen and converting this ketone into an ester there will be two products and one will be in the major if the oxygen is comes here or the oxygen may come here Now, which one will be the major product? You can imagine that there are two groups. One is this one and the one is this one. Which has the better migrating aptitude? This group is the sec has the secondary carbon. And this carbon is more like nucleophilic since the two alkyl groups are donating the electron density to it. And the methyl, since it is attached to only hydrogens, and hydrogen don't have any positive or negative inductive effect, so this is a better carbene ion. It can form it better carbene ion. So when the, what will happen in the first step? The protonation of this keto oxygen to convert it into protonated hydroxyl group, making this carbon electron deficient, and then oxide will attack here. In the next step, the migration will occur, 
and you will see that this is the major column and this is minor so this is the insertion reaction the insertion of oxygen has occurred oxygen has been inserted between uh, these two groups but what I am actually concerned is the retention of configuration you see what is the configuration of this chiral carbon hydrogen is on the back side you will see that one two three four this is it has s configuration what is the configuration of the, this chiral carbon you will see one two three this also has the s configuration these the in uh, this is a reaction that actually uh, involves the retention of configuration the configuration of the starting of the migrating group remains this is the uh, evidence that this mechanism is actually the concerted mechanism that actually converts the ketone into an ester along with the retention of configuration <coughs> I am going to explain you another reaction that is this striking application of this reaction This is an amino acid called L tyrosine. L tyrosine. The first it is converted in acetyl chloride. We convert this uh, compound into acetylated product. This reaction converts the acetyl you might have understood the the Friedel graph acylation where the acylation would occur since the ortho and the para position <coughs> are more nucleophilic but the para position is blocked with this group so acetylation would occur here recall your previous classes where you studied the Friedel curve acylation and alkylation in the first step the acetylation has occurred and the acyl group is attached here now it is it has two functionalities either carboxylic group amino amino acid group and the second one is the ketone when it reacts with Metachloro per benzoic acid. We know that this will convert this ketone into an ester. Now, this is an insertion reaction. Oxygen, whether the oxygen will be inserted here or here. If this bigger group migrates, then the oxygen will come here draw the mechanism and you will better understand what I am saying this is a major product and what we do in the next step we hydrolyze this the hydrolysis after hydrolysis this ester changes into acid minus double bond OH and this oxygen will change into hydroxyl so after the hydrolysis you get this
this product is known as l dopa this is the very important drug for the treatment of parkinson disease so how this product is formed it is formed from an amino acid l tyrosine first we do the acylation to convert it into a ketone why why did this acylation occurs only here because the para position is blocked and this group is ortho para directing so acylation would occur here the important reaction the that is actually the bayer villager oxidation is this one this is we will convert this ketone into an ester this will be the major amount because this is a better it has a better migrating aptitude after hydrolysis we call this we get this l dopa the drug for treatment of parkinson disease in here in this reaction you will have to remember that when this acetyl group has to convert it into oh acyl group to oh group you will have to use the bayer villager oxidation first you will have to perform the bayer villager oxidation to convert it into an ester and then after hydrolysis you can you can attach the hydroxyl group is there any reaction that could directly attach oh to the here maybe we could have but this this route was very simple one to for the formation of the l dopa so far we have learned the bayer villager oxidation what is about its mechanism we have learned the retention of configuration we have learned that uh, this reaction uh, has involved some migrating aptitude is based on some mi the migrating aptitude of some certain groups that has the better migrating ability then we studied the certain commercial applications of bayer villager oxidation i'm last in the last i discussed another application of bayer villager oxidation what will be the product now i am not going to explain all the mechanism i just will going to write the product 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 